Now let's discuss some basic things. Let R be a number greater than 1. For example, I'll take R is equal to 5. If I find R square, this is 5 square. And you know that 5 square is 25. Find R cube. This is 5 cube. 5 cube means 5 into 5 into 5 you'll get 125. R raised to 4 will be 5 raised to 4. 5 multiplied 4 times, so you'll get 625. R raised to 5 is 5 raised to 5. So 5 multiplied 5 times, so you'll get 3125 R raised to 6 is 5 raised to 6 5 multiplied 6 times so you'll get uh, 15625 so if you look at this you can see that R raised to 1 was 5 R square is 25 R cube is 125 r raised to 4 is 625 r raised to 5 is 3125 r raised to 6 is 15625 now when you see that uh, the powers of r increases the value of those increases tremendously so if i find r raised to 100 it will be a very huge number so as n increases, the value of r raised to n increases tremendously. If n tends to infinity, the value of r raised to n will tend to infinity. This fact we write it as limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to infinity. This means that as n tends to infinity, the value of r raised to n will tend to infinity. Okay, as n tends to infinity, the value of r raised to n tends to infinity. This fact we write it as limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to infinity. Now let us see the case when r is less than 1. Suppose that r is less than 1. For example, suppose that r is less than 1. For example, I will take r to be 0 0.1. So r square will be 0 0.1 the whole square. When you find 0 0.1 the whole square, this will be 0 0.01. When you find uh, our cube, it will be 0 0.1 the whole cube, which is equal to 0 0.001. When you find r raised to 4, this will be 0 0.1 the whole raised to 4, which is 0 0.0001. Now, okay, now you can see that as the powers of R increases, the values decreases and slowly approach 0. R was 0 0.1, R square is 0 0.01, R cube is 0 0.0001 r raised to 4 is 0 0.0001 when you find r raised to 100 a larger value it will be very close to 0 that means it will be 0 0.000990 zeros and finally 1 1 so that is very close to 0 so you can say that r raised to n will tend to 0 as n tends to infinity that means as n becomes very large, 
r raised to n becomes 0. This fact we can write it as limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to 0. So this means that as n tends to infinity the value of r raised to n will tend to 0. Now here we have seen two cases. The first case is when r is greater than 1. In that case limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to infinity and the second case where r less than 1 in that case limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to 0. Consider the infinite geometric series a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube plus etc. Now here we have seen that Sn is a, a plus some of the first n terms a plus ar plus ar square plus etc plus final term was ar raised to n minus 1 for Sn. So the, this is the sum of the first n terms. Now we have seen that this is actually a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r. Now if n tends to infinity Sn Sn will be the entire sequence because this will tend to infinity. So it will cover the entire sequence a plus ar plus ar square plus etc. Now we will try to find the sum of this entire geometric series. So to find the sum of the entire geometric series we will find limit n tends to infinity Sn. as n tends to infinity Sn will become Sn is actually the sum of the first n terms so as n tends to infinity Sn will cover the entire series so we will find the sum of this so this will be limit n tends to infinity Sn we have Sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r we will put the value of Sn so this is a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r. Now here we have limit n tends to infinity and the only quantity containing n here is r raised to n. So what we do is we will try to simplify this limit a little further. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity multiply this a inside so you'll get a into 1 as a minus a into r raised to n is a r raised to n by you have 1 minus r so this is equal to limit n tends to infinity now we know that in uh, we have studied in smaller classes that if you have a plus b by c then you can write it as a by c plus b by c and this is true even if it is minus if it is a minus b then you can write it as a by c minus that is a by c splitting it a by c plus b by c so here you have a minus a r raised to n by 1 minus r so what we do is we split it into a by 1 minus r minus a r raised to n by 1 minus r. So this will be limit n tends to infinity a by 1 minus r minus a r raised to n by 1 minus r. Now this is n tends to infinity. Now the only term containing n is this. So put the limit directly here. So this will be 
a by 1 minus r because this is limit n tends to infinity it cannot be applied in the first term it can be only applied for r raised to n so i am writing it there so minus a into limit n tends to infinity r raised to n by 1 minus r Hope you understand because this is limit n tends to infinity and limit n tends to infinity can be applied for the term containing n only. So here the only term containing n is a r raised to n by 1 minus r or r raised to n. So I just apply this limit to r raised to n. So this will, this will be set free a by 1 minus r will be set free minus here also a is set free limit is given only to r raised to n by 1 minus r as it is. Now this is equal to a by 1 minus r minus let us look here we have seen limit n tends to infinity r raised to n is 0 or we will say r is in between minus 1 and plus 1. So if r is in between minus 1 and plus 1 limit n tends to infinity r raised to n is 0. So I will write so if this is 0, the entire term a into, if this is 0, then this will be a into 0 by 1 minus r. a into 0 is 0. 0 by 1 minus r is again 0. So totally 0. If the value of r lies in between minus 1 and plus 1, this is how we denote it. If r lies in between minus 1 and plus 1, we write it as minus 1 less than r. If r is greater than 1, then we have seen that limit n tends to infinity r raised to n equal to infinity. So if this is infinity, the entire term will become infinity. That means this series diverges. Okay. So this tends to infinity if r is outside this range. That means I will write otherwise. The meaning is that you have seen the number line here. This is a number line. This is 0. This is 1. This is minus 1. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. till infinity. Here you have minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, etc. till minus infinity. Now if the value of r falls in between minus 1 and plus 1, if the value of r falls here in between minus 1 and plus 1, this geometric series will converge. If the value of r falls here, either here or here, that means in between minus infinity and minus 1 or 1 and infinity. In that case, the geometric series diverges. So tends to infinity means diverges. So we will say that limit n tends to infinity Sn equal to a by 1 minus r when r is in between minus 1 and plus 1. Otherwise, this series diverges. Limit n tends to infinity Sn, that means the sum of the infinite terms of this geometric series or the entire sum of this geometric series is a by 1 minus r if the value of r lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. Otherwise, that means if the value of r does not lie between minus 1 and 1 or lie outside the range from minus 1 to 1, then it diverges. This is a very important result. So just to sum up, for the infinite series a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube plus x, we have seen that Sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n by 1 minus r and the full sum of the infinite series is given by limit n tends to infinity Sn equal to a by 1 minus r if the value of r lies in between minus 1 and 1 and if the value of r 
lies outside this range, then the series diverges. So remember the infinite series converges for R lying in between minus 1 and plus 1 and diverges otherwise.